Sunday morning, everybody. We're on our way to Costco. I'll be back. Okay, it's raining, which should be no surprise to anybody who knows the Pacific Northwest. It rains a lot. We just found a interesting craft and fabric shop called Craft Warehouse here in, where are we, Beaverton? Beaverton. And it reminds me of a chain of stores we used to have in the San Jose Bay area in California called Beverly's Fabrics and Crafts. And they had a little bit of fabric and some craft stuff. Uh, this place is bigger. They have less fabric than Beverly's did, but they have lots of other things. And it seems like, at least, and it could just be because of the time of year it is, and maybe they're having a massive store clearance or something, but a, a lot of things were marked down, at least 20%, if not more. Um, I don't really need anything. That being said, I bought nothing. I did come out with an ad, so I can remember the name of the store. But when I do need something, I think it's one of the places I'm going to go. I really was impressed. And we got what we needed at Best Buy. And now we're going to go home and have lunch and let Lily out of her crate, out of the crate. Because she's, we're puppy sitting and she's in the crate right now. So I'm sure she's not too happy about that. Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. So nope. we'll, we're going to go home and we'll be back. Okay, so my cup I've been working on all week is finally done. Woohoo! It's straight, it's not bulging at the bottom, it's even and level, it stands up the way it's supposed to, it doesn't like go this way. Clean off the top, I put the lid back on. We're good to go. It's supposed to be for a Christmas gift, but I kind of like the way it turned out. I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna just set it off to the side and I'm now working on the other one. And it's over here with its first coat. Let me turn the light on so you can see. There we go. It's got its first coat, and then I'm going to put the decal on, and then I'm going to put at least one more coat. But if it's like the last cup that I did, I'm going to need like four coats. So I don't know. We'll see. And my husband is putting up our new ring doorbell. And The whole island is covered with tools. I don't know why you need that money to install one little teeny tiny doorbell. I don't know. We'll see. I'll be back. All right, I'm like an hour later than I was planning on being to get out of the house and go run the errands I need to run because I got an email, well, a message, Facebook message from a friend about one of the collaborations we're doing next year. And she said, can you talk? Do you have a minute? I'm like, oh, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> um, oh, you're looking at the garage ceiling, there you go. Um, so I was online with her and a couple other friends and we were brainstorming. But now I'm an hour later than I intended for getting out of the house. Oops. <laughs> And I'm just hitting buttons at random. Anyway, so we're gonna go. <clears throat> I've gotta get some Etsy orders dropped off. I wanna go by Joann's, I wanna go by Walmart. <sighs> so I'm gonna do all that and then come home. So I'll be right back. I should say to you all, we have some exciting stuff coming uh, for next year, not only for my Etsy shop. Um, I'm working on the new stencils and new stamps for 2019 and they're pretty exciting. Um, yeah. Um, anyway, if you want to support this channel and my art and the free content here on YouTube and over on Facebook, 
you can shop in the Etsy shop. You can put something in my Amazon, uh, my PayPal tip jar, um, or you can go over to Patreon. I do have a Patreon. The links for all of them will be in the description below. Um, and we have some fun, interesting, um, I think exciting free content coming not only to YouTube for next year. Make sure I don't hit anything on the way out of the driveway. But to my creative year, which is a Facebook teaching Facebook group with free content. And we have got some great teachers coming to the group and some new ideas. We try to shake it up a little bit every year. So if you want to join us in that journey, not all of the content will be put on YouTube. Fun fact, some of it's going to be direct to Facebook. So if you want to be a part of that, then you can join the Facebook group. The link is in the description below. I'm also going to be doing Explorations of Me again next year with Cindy Utter. Um, I did it this year too. I've got to put everything in a playlist, people. I so need like an assistant. It's so much work. Anyway, oh, crows on the garbage can. Okay, so anyway, we are going to head out to run some errands and I will link some of the channels, uh, like Cindy Utter's channel in the description below. I'll try to create an EOM playlist um, and before that, she and I did Negativity smack Smackdown. So I'll try to like playlist everything and um, link it in the description below for you all. One of my neighbors, I don't know. She didn't look very happy. Um, so anyway, we're gonna go do that and I will be right back. Okay, I got some fabrics at Joann's. I got this one. This one. Those are both, I got those both big enough to do a journal cover, like the base of the journal cover. And then these three I got for embellishments. And I'm inspired by a video I saw recently that I will link in the description below. Very talented young lady. And um, yeah, so I needed, I have, I have a lot of what I can use to do journal covers like she was doing, um, but I needed a few other things. Um, I have lots of canvas, but I wanted to use some kind of tapestry or quilted fabric for the base of at least some of them. So that's why I got these. So anyway, we're going to go over to Walmart now because I need to get some more metal tumblers to make some more cups and then I'm going to go home. I hope I remember to close the garage door. I guess we'll find out when we get home. All right, I'll be back. So. We went and I went and run all my ran all my errands. I kind of rushed through some of them. I didn't hem and haw or take my time or do anything extra because I couldn't remember if I closed the garage door. <laughs> so that was a thing. Anyway, I did get the errands I needed to do. Run mostly. I forgot to get bottled water, but that's okay. Um, I've had lunch, so. And um, I'm gonna go upstairs now and check on the cup that's up there and um, put away some stuff I got. I need to start some laundry. And <coughs> I wanna put a little bit of paint on the two canvases that are, that are upstairs. Uh, I had a nice long chat with a um, friend and a supporter of my YouTube channel, Donna Han Hanrahan. And um, she um, called me um, and messaged me to let me know that she got uh, the Etsy order that, that she um, placed not long ago. It got to her house safely, yay. Um, so happy for that. And she and her husband have gone through some hard times, but I think things are getting better for them, so woohoo. Um, and the mail came and I'm still waiting on a payment for some custom artwork I did for somebody, and I know I should have gotten a deposit in advance, but I didn't, and live and learn, and I don't care who you are, I'm not doing that again. You need to pay me half before I get started, and you need the balance before you get the paintings. Otherwise, you don't get the paintings. This would be why, yeah. I don't, yeah, anyway. So I'm waiting on that. So hopefully that'll be in soon, and... 
What else? What else? What else? I I don't know. I can't think of anything else right now. I'm so I'm gonna go switch some laundry loads around and get some more stuff in the washing machine and we'll see what other trouble we can get up to. All right, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. I literally have the phone propped up in an empty tissue box because, you know, we just roll that way. <laughs> High tech camera gear and all that stuff. Um, anyway, um, I don't know, it's Tuesday. December 11th, maybe? I have no idea what time it is. It's morning, that I know. I don't think it's 9 a.m. yet, but I could be wrong. I am in the entryway, obviously. And I am going to put some shoes on. And before I do anything else today, or at least too much more today, I'm going to go for a walk around the neighborhood. It is, it doesn't appear to be rainy, but it is wet outside and um, it's windy though, but that's okay. I'm going to put on a sweatshirt and my pink raincoat and I'm going to go get some steps in. I'm trying really hard to get back into a normal routine. My diet and exercise routine totally sucks since we moved. Um, I think I'm getting enough steps in but you know i'm probably getting less in than i think to be honest i'm eating way too many sweets so yeah i haven't really gained any weight so bonus i think like half a pound um but we're gonna work on getting better and i'm gonna try to start my day off after coffee and my daily postings um most days anyway with a little block I'm also going to try to be better about putting my Fitbit on. Since we moved, I suck about just putting the Fitbit on. It's either not charged or it's upstairs or something. Um, I have an excuse. So I'm going to stop with the excuses. I've already got it on. We are putting on my walking shoes. And then we'll get a walk in. We'll see if we can get any cool nature pictures. And then we'll come back. I've got another cup to work on. And the two paintings. And I've got a bunch of video to edit um, that I took last week. So. so we need to do all that. I'm going to try not to go actually out of the house today other than walking. I mean, and by out of the house, I mean like shopping or anything. I don't really need anything. We need um, some bottled water, but I think I'm going to just ask the husband to get some on his way home. So anyway, let's go for a walk, shall we? It's not too bad. It's a little bit drizzly, brisk. It's not too bad, but I like cold weather, so you probably ought not to judge by me. I need to go home later and one of the things I have to do today is edit the vlog for last week, um, which involves Bandit passing away, so that's gonna be tough. Not looking forward to it, but you know what? I'm going to get it over with. I'm gonna rip it off like a Band-Aid. I'm going to sit with my cup of tea. I'm gonna turn on some soothing music and we're gonna just get it done. And then afterwards I'll make some art. And we have his paw print to do something with that the vets took at the time of his passing. We're going to frame it with a picture of him and maybe his dog tags. So anyway, let's get some steps in first. Good afternoon, everybody. It's Wednesday, December 12th. I almost said November. It is December, I actually know that. Um, it's 1.35 in the afternoon. I only know that because I looked at my clock before I turned the camera on, so don't get all excited or anything. I've been up this morning finishing up projects, basically. I put another coat on a cup, um, a coat of resin on a cup that I'm working on that's on a tumbler. It's cup number three of how many? I don't know. Um, at least one of the ones I've made is for Christmas. 
um, for a Christmas gift for somebody. So, I, I don't know, the other ones I'm planning on giving maybe as gifts. We'll see what happens. Um, I was also working on some paintings to go up the staircase. And when we first moved in, I had um, three paintings I put up on the staircase. My daughter came over and said, Mom, I love that, but you need two more to go up the rest of the staircase. And of course, and I just got to be in my bonnet about it. And yeah, so I did two more. I'll show you. Hang on. Anyway, um, I made two more paintings for my stairwell or staircase. I had three of them like this, mostly blue tones at the old house. These were part of a life book lesson by Tamara Laporte. I want to say like three years ago, maybe. Um, Peter Thompson, um, who was taking the same class at the same time, did them on canvas, and I thought that was a great idea, so I did. When I moved in, I hung them in the stairwell or staircase here, and I love the way they turned out so much, but my daughter said, Mom, you need two more. So I did two more, and I just finished them. Here's one of the new ones. This is one of the old ones. I need to go downstairs and make sure they all look straight and even and all that. This is a new one. And then that's another old one. So let's go downstairs and see what it looks like from down there. Looks pretty good. I like it. Good morning. It's Thursday morning. It's 9.20 something. Uh, I only know that because I'm standing here in the office. It's Thursday, December... Crap. I know it's Thursday. December 13th. Um, I'm just upstairs. I was doing my daily postings. I still have to do my positive affirmation card for the day. I think I've forgotten kind of a few days in a row, but anyway. Um, I also wanted to take this off of the um, spinner, this tumbler, and the resin uh, coating is dry. There appear to be no defects, no bubbles, no, I don't have, two coats, I got it, yay! <laughs> um, I'm going to have trouble giving this one away. I really love this one, I might need to keep it. Anyway, um, I want to make at least one more, I think, before Christmas, so I just don't know what I want the decor to be on it. Um... So I don't know yet. Um, so far I've made these three. Uh, my husband hopefully doesn't watch my vlogs. I don't think he does. But I made this one for him. Uh, it's sort of hiding in plain sight. It's got his Masonic uh, logo on the cup. I don't know that he'll ever use it. And if he does, it'll probably be to keep his rum and coke cold. But, you know. <laughs> I don't know. He might not like it, but we'll see. Anyway. Um... I need to go run some errands. I'm having one of those days where I'm just kind of having trouble getting started. Uh, I need probably need to take some more coffee with me. It's not great for my blood pressure, but um, yeah, I'm not really. I'm not. I'm having trouble getting going today. I feel like I feel like I didn't get enough sleep last night, and I don't think it's like last night. I think it's like a few nights in a row, a few days in a row. I'll try to do this way where the lights are less crazy. Um, I think the lack of sleep the last few days in a row or weeks um, has just finally caught up with me. So I think maybe tonight I'll take some melatonin or something before, before bed so I can just crash. So anyway. Uh, so yeah, I need to go to the grocery store and I probably should go check on the P.O. box. I need to get some wrapping paper. So I may just go to Fred Meyer. Uh, I like Fred Meyer. Some of you all already know that. I've mentioned it before. Um, and it's handy because I can just get wrapping paper and groceries. And if I need hardware and if I need, you know, I don't know, craft paint. Um, if I need hardware, they have it all there. So it's just easy. Um, so I think I'll probably go do that today and get some steps in walking around the store and probably the neighborhood and yeah so that's exciting I know <laughs> um, just as Mike Deacon uh, said recently in his uh, vlog uh, I live an ordinary life it's not anything unusual um, 
And if you don't know who he is and you haven't watched his vlogs or his uh, particular last vlog, I'll link it in the description below. Um, he's a friend of mine. I, I, I love Mike and Ian and their dog Bentley is just so cute. Um, and the steampunk machines that Ian makes are just phenomenal. Um, anyway, um, I follow their uh, his channel a lot. So, uh, yeah, anyway. I'll get on with my ordinary life and bring you with me if anything interesting does happen to happen. All right, we'll be back. Can you see that I'm still in my pajamas? I just unexpectedly spent almost two hours updating the Christmas card address list, messaging back and forth with my sister-in-law about um, our upcoming, um, the, the upcoming holidays and communicating about that because of course the boys have not said anything to her or at least my husband hasn't. I don't know, anyway. <laughs> um, so now I've been updating her this morning and catching up the address list. I think it's good now, but uh, before I waste any more labels and print any more addresses, I'm gonna have my husband check it because I think I think I probably missed somebody. Uh, you know, every year I send out Christmas cards. I've said this in the past, and every year I seem to catch one or two people who have passed away. Um, sending Christmas cards to dead people while it is good in thought the you know you're sending the energy out there but it's a waste of a postage stamp because the post office will send it back to you just putting that out there um, I know by experience so anyway I'm gonna have him double check the list before I print it on labels I may go ahead uh, after I take a shower and print it on regular printer paper. I could just set it to do that now before I go downstairs. And then he can review that and then I can make any changes and then we can print it on labels. It's a good idea. The All right, lighting is, oh, The lighting is obnoxious, but. Okay, so if you're watching this bit, you saw the previous bit. We're making chicken broth. So I, when I roast a chicken, I generally save whatever leftover bits nobody wants, including the carcass. And if you're vegetarian, I apologize. Turn off the camera right now. <laughs> um, skip ahead. Um, I'll try to put time stamps somewhere in the fast forward part where I'm cutting the vegetables for you all to skip ahead. Um, for those of you who are vegetarian and this offends, I don't intend to offend you. But anyway, so I do DIY chicken broth frequently. I haven't done any since we've been to Oregon, that being said. Um, so I throw chicken in there, uh, again, I roast some chickens for dinner, whatever bit leftover bits people don't want to eat, um, or don't get eaten. I put them in a Ziploc bag, I stick them in the freezer when I have two or three bags. I fill up a pot, add some onions, some carrots, some celery, some herbs, and enough water to cover, bring it to a boil, turn it down to low, let it simmer for a few hours, and then you've got chicken broth. Um, you can do this in the crock pot, crock pot which I've done in the past. But I have to say, although I do have a crock pot, I'm really, really enjoying using my new gas stove. So we're gonna do it on the stove the old fashioned way. So I'm gonna let that simmer away for a while and I'm gonna go about other errands. And by errands, I mean chores. I would never drive away and leave the stove on. That's really stupid. <laughs> so we're not gonna do that. When I started my day today that I was tired. <laughs> I believe I said that if I'm not mistaken. I didn't have that extra cup of coffee, but it may be coming shortly or a strong cup of black tea or something. Anyway, I sat down on the couch for a minute to look at my iPad and if I don't get upstairs and film the one last video for January, I'm going to end up falling asleep on the couch. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I got stuff to do. So I'm going to go get that one um, last video filmed. It's explorations of me for January, uh, for January 2019. Uh, Cindy Utter and I and I believe Leslie McGrath and Barbara Clark are all doing it. I think that's the lineup. So anyway, um, keep your eye out uh, next month. And um, anyway, let's go get that filmed and uh, then I can go downstairs, have some more caffeine and watch my soap opera. And if I fall asleep, it's no big deal.
Good morning, everybody. How are you? It's Friday. I want to say March 14th, only it's not March. <laughs> I think it's, it's, I know it's December and it, it's 9.34 a.m. I only know that because I'm in the car. Um, we are headed out this morning to go mail Christmas cards and I actually have to get some more cards because every year, I think we meant, we talked about this last year on the channel. Every year I send a lot of Christmas cards and this year we ha we bought 80. I was kind of hoping that was enough. It's not enough. <laughs> I need 22 more cards. <laughs> um, unfortunately, it used to be where we would send out around 150 cards, but you know, over the years, um, friends and family have passed, unfortunately, and so you know the list gets a little smaller every year. Um, I do have a really bad habit of forgetting to remove people who have passed from the list and every year sending to at least one dead person. One thing, one year I think we got five dead people uh, in the list, which is really sweet that I'm thinking about them at Christmas, but some of their family members I think got a bit disturbed. So anyway, <laughs> we're going to try not to do that this year. It's, it, we, we try every year, but every year inevitably there's one person we didn't know passed. And so we end up sending a card, so. I don't know, I had my husband help me edit the list, so we'll see what happens. So we're gonna go to McCann's first and get all the cards in the mail. I've got a stack of international ones that have gotta be sent and I need to get some more stamps. And then I need to run to Target and get some more cards. And I might, get a few things for the pantry closet in the way of food stuffs like canned goods and things you know we didn't we ate up everything that we had in California before we moved for the most part we didn't move much food with us which you know I've known people who have moved and they move all their food and they put things in coolers and yeah no I wasn't gonna do I was stressed out enough about the move I wasn't gonna be worried about moving food so I should say I'm trying to get to McCann's without the GPS I don't know if it's gonna work or not. We'll see. It might. I think I turned on the right street, so we'll find out. I made it, yay. So we have an unexpected detour. Uh, McCann's is out of stamps. They are expecting a shipment of more postage stamps, but they aren't in yet. And the Tigard Post Office, the person who runs the stamp room, went on vacation and took the key with him. So yeah, so they don't have stamps either. <laughs> um, fun times. Christmas time is a bad time of year to do that. Um, so I'm headed to Safeway. Hopefully they have stamps. I'm going to try not to go to Postal Annex because I like Postal Annex. We use the one near the old house. Um, that's where we had our PO, PO box, um, but they do charge you a service fee for everything above and beyond what the actual cost is of, say, the stamps or shipping. So let's try not to pay that fee if we can help it. And let's hope that they have stamps inside Safeway. And they're not sold out yet. So Good let's morning. Go. It's Saturday, December 15th. I almost said September. I know it's morning, but I have no idea what time it is. I don't think it's 10 o'clock yet, but I could be wrong. What time is it, dear? It's uh, 10 to 10. Oh, see, 10 to 10. I was right, it wasn't 10 o'clock yet. I'm looking at it with my uh, new watch. It's this, his new Apple watch. Got a new Apple watch. See, I say hi, Fred. Hi, Fred, see, got an Apple watch. See? <laughs> anyway, so we're headed out to go do some Christmas shopping. Not my favorite thing. But we'll bring you with us. I don't know. Might be interesting. Might be boring. But we'll bring you. Where's your ball? You know, we're running out of hangers. Where's your ball? It was right there. Where's your ball? Go get it.
Yeah. Hi guys, it's Sunday. I forgot to film an exit yesterday. Oops. Anyway, I hope you've all had a great week and have a great day. That you're not getting too stressed over the holidays. I know it can be really stressful, more so for some than others, but in any case, try to take a deep breath and enjoy them and not let the stress get to you. Uh, that's it for this week. We will see you next week. Have a great day. Do something nice for yourself, maybe somebody else, because you deserve it and so do they. That's it for right now. Bye, guys.